Hi everyone, it's Lee from UK Angling. Today I just wanted to go through a quick rig that I like to use when pellet fishing for catfish. It's got quite a few names and it's quite a diverse subject, but today we're going to go with a universally known name, the Brick Rig. Now, I just wanted to show you how to tie the rig today and also a couple of variations as to presentation and how you can present the rig. Because uh, there's a few little tips and tricks that you can use and I'll show you them later on in the video. But right now, I'll just go into showing you how to tie it and components that we use to tie this rig. So, what you want guys, is a nice 150 pound swivel, some nice tough abrasion resistant hook link, nice big pellet hook, you can get these from UK Angling, Barbell or Barbless now, and a size 8 swivel. That's pretty much all you need to make this rig. You could also add a bit of tubing on, but I'm just going to keep it simple to show you for just for the sake of video guys. So <clears throat> you want to start off by taking your swivel, your size 8 swivel, because this is going to just be for your baiting purposes. You want to make a loop and then feed your swivel over the loop. Alright guys, we're going to tie it on using a Palomar knot. So I'm going to bring it around and then make another loop through the loop we've just made so you should be left looking similar to this if you can see that right you bring your swivel back through your new loop what you've just made a little bit fidgety sorry if you can hear dog in background guys <clears throat> right and then just moisten it up And pull it nice and tight. It's always important to moisten it because with these sort of materials, they do burn really easily when you're pulling them in. Right. <clears throat> so now we've got obviously a size 8 swivel onto his hook link. That's first stage. Just going to trim this tag end off. Don't really use no posh scissors, just use medical scissors. Uh, blooming sharp and they cut pretty precise. Right, next thing you want to do guys is feed your hook through the back of the eye of the hook onto your hook link. Similar to hair style, knotless knot. And then what I do is just make sure that this swivels just at the back of the hook. Can you see that guys? And then I'll tie my knotless knot as I normally would, which <clears throat> I prefer to go seven turns and then one extra there. Don't worry about it. Again, bringing it back through the back of the eye of the hook. And pulling nice and tight. All right, guys. So that's what we're looking like now. Right, the other end of the rig is your swivel. This is an 150 pound swivel. UK Angling will be bringing these to the shop shortly. Um, possibly in different colours, styles, but they're coming. <clears throat> Keep an eye on catfish on the range, guys. It's growing, it's, it's growing good. So we're going to attach this swivel using the same as what we use at the other end, just a Palomar knot. So I've made my loop, brought it over. And now just bring all this round and tuck it back through the newest loop. Yeah, you see that? It's a bit fidgety, especially if you've got fat fingers like me, guys. So just be patient. <laughs> Patience is always key with these knots. Again, moisten so that you don't go burning it and making it any weaker. You don't need to do that, catfish will do that for you. Pull it nice and tight and trim that end off. Get rid of that. And there you have it guys. You now have your brick rig. Your oak limbs vary. Depends on angle, depends on a situation as well. 
I always prefer to start off nice and long, but I usually do on average 14 inch rigs, but I'll, I'll chop and change, you know, throughout a session. Um, that's best tip I can really give you. Right, now attaching your baits. Now I've made a few earlier using Alibut pellets and UK angling. <coughs> um, UK angling catfish hunter pop ups. Uh, this is a six pellet brick rig. And all you do is take your mono, feed your pop up on first, three pellets on one side, three pellets on the other. Just tie it with a couple of basic knots at the top and you're sorted. So, and then what I like to do is just get both tag ends. Just makes it easier when you've got fat fingers, guys. Put them through your swivel that's on your hook. Fire, Bob getting caught. Mm -mm. Right, see what I've done there, guys. It's on the swivel. Now, all I'm going to do. Just do a couple of knots just to secure it and attach it there. <clears throat> there you go. Pull it nice and tight. Trim your tag ends off. You can use a lighter if you want just to blob it down, but to be honest with you guys, catfish aren't super finicky. You know, they're not. They're not too bothered about all the jazz that car power. Right, so next step of this video, guys, I'm going to show you all these rigs in water. I have six pellets with your kindly pop up on. Uh, that's the SK1 catfish under pop up. Then I have a four Alibut pellet, and that's the liver cat under pop up. Then I have the Pappy Nook 15mm pop up with six pellets, and then four pellets and the 15mm pepper plum. So, I'm going to go and get my little rig tester out now, and we should uh, I'll show you these different rigs dropped in water and how they actually float. All right, guys. So, first rig that I'm going to chuck in, guys, it's one that I've just shown you. Six pellets and UK angling, sardine and anchovy, catfish and a pop up. And that's how your six pellets and a really big pop up should present when they're underwater. This is the four halibut pellet and the UK angling liver catfish pop up. Plenty of buoyancy. And movement here as well, if you've noticed. Right, next ones I'm going to show you guys is the uh, same amount of pellets as what I've just shown you, but we have 15 mil pop up instead. So this one's six 20 mil alibut pellets, guys, and then yeah, 15 mil popping up pop up. Slightly different angle if you've noticed, like the other one, the bigger pop-up from before, the sardine and anchova, shot straight up and stood up, whereas this balances, and if I just get a little push with my finger, you can see that it actually sticks to that angle. So, you know, it depends how you want to balance your baits, guys. Right, I'm going to show you the same rig again now, but with four pellets and a 15mm pop-up. So here we go guys, this is four alibut pellets at 20 mil with a 15 mil pepper plum pop up. <clears throat> Stand straight up. Similar to six pellets with bigger pellet, doesn't it? Right guys, well I hope that that'll help you with your catfishing this year. You know, if you're out on banks, get a crack, it might end up getting you a really big fish. 
But that's it from me today, guys. Remember, whenever you're out, try and encourage, educate, and inspire. Thanks a lot for watching.